Here we go again. Manchester United are eyeing at least one new centre-back this summer as a means of bolstering Eric Ten Hag's central defensive choices next campaign and transfer expert Fabrizio Romano, while speaking exclusively to Give Me Sport, has revealed that target Matthijs de Ligt's sole priority is on a switch to Old Trafford. Raphael Varane's departure and Everton's firm stance on their 70 millions of pounds plus price tag for Jared Branthwaite means that the clamor around the Dutchman's prospective summer switch from Germany to England is as rife as ever. Having fallen down the pecking order at the Allianz Arena with the arrivals of former Red Devils target Kim Min Jae and Eric Deer, it is widely understood that De Ligt, who still has three years remaining on his contract, is open to an Old Trafford switch this summer. In 2023-24 alone, De Ligt was limited to 22 appearances in the Bundesliga, which equates to 1,387 minutes, and will be looking to earn senior minutes in Greater Manchester, alongside former Ajax man Lisandro Martinez. According to Manchester Evening News, personal terms between the would-be buyers and the defender in question, De Ligt, have been verbally agreed, while the report also suggests that Bayern are wanting to receive a figure around the 42 millions of pounds mark for his capable services. Branthwaite, of course, remains a huge target for the Red Devils, with the Carlisle-born center half possessing a quality that De Ligt, called world-class by Bayern sporting director Christoph Freund, does not Premier League experience. Lila's Lenny Yoro, who is also admired by Real Madrid, is also of interest to the three-time Champions League winners. Speaking exclusively to Give Me Sport, Romano suggested that the positive pre-existing relationship between De Ligt and Ten Hag could help speed up the transfer process. The football insider insisted that, despite the ever-growing noise around his name, the Ajax graduate's sole priority is getting a deal over the line. He said that, the manager knows him very well since their time together at Ajax, so the idea of Matthijs de Ligt is to go to Manchester United, and he's giving total priority to Man United in terms of personal terms negotiations. Despite all the links we also had with other clubs, the focus of Matthijs de Ligt is on Man United. His agent, Rafaela Pimenta, is only negotiating with Manchester United. In other news, while much of the focus will be around on-the-pitch changes for Manchester United fans, the complexion of Ten Hag's coaching staff has altered recently after Mitchell van der Gogh saw his old Trafford contract terminated. Taking to X, formerly Twitter, Romano suggested that Ruud van Nistelrooy, widely regarded as one of the best strikers in Manchester United history, will be the direct replacement for Ten Hag's right-hand man. Since Sir Jim Ratcliffe's minority takeover of the Premier League behemoths, Dan Ashworth, Jason Wilcox and Omar Barada have been lured from rival clubs, while Van Nistelrooy is set to be joined by ex-go-ahead Eagles chief Rene Hake on the other side. Jaden Sancho and Man United should separate permanently. So says ex-England defender Glenn Johnson, who also believes the unsettled wide man prefers to be the main man in a smaller pond. Johnson believes it would be better for everyone concerned if Sancho finally departs permanently this summer. Old Club Dortmund, where the 24-year-old shown back on loan, have reportedly been priced out of the race as he could cost 50 million plus. But former Liverpool and Chelsea star Johnson told Paddy Power, I think United and Jadon Sancho should shake hands and call it quits. He's got some talent, but he hasn't shown it at all at United. I don't know what it is. I don't know whether he gets on with the players, the manager, or likes Manchester. But as soon as he went back to Dortmund, he looked like a world beater again. It's almost like he prefers to be the main man in a smaller pond. It's very rare that when the first couple of years are so bad, players can bring it round. He can move on to have a good career, and United can get some money back to sign a player that wants to be there. Meanwhile, strike legend Ruud van Nistelrooy is back at Red Devils as assistant boss after a backroom shakeup, and Darren Fletcher has been handed a brand new job with two coaches axed completely. United boss Ten Hag is ready to rock and roll after being handed a contract extension by Sir Jim Ratcliffe. Along with new football gurus Dan Ashworth and Jason Wilcox, Ten Hag will look plunder the transfer market for quality bargains before embarking on a title push in the new Premier League campaign. 
But change isn't just happening in the board and dressing rooms as United look to sign Dutch duo Joshua Zerksy and Matthijs de Ligt. That's because Ten Hag has also welcomed Red Devils legend Van Nistelrooy as one of two new assistants to his backroom staff. The Premier League winner banged in 150 goals in five years at Old Trafford, and he has since picked up vital managerial experience with Dutch giants PSV Eindhoven. Also joining as the second assistant is René Haak, who was in charge of Eredivisie side go-ahead Eagles last season. He and Van Nistelrooy have arrived as replacements for coach Benny McCarthy and number two Mitchell van der Gog, with the latter quitting his post to pursue a new challenge as a manager, on other hand. Talk of Man United trying to bring Sofian Amrabat back on loan is hotting up. Team Talk say United's new sporting director Dan Ashworth has midfield as one of his transfer priorities. PSG anchorman Manuel Ugarte remains a serious option, but with manager Ten Hag a fan of Fiorentina's Amrabat, Ashworth is prepared to consider attempting a new deal for the Moroccan. United had a buy option on Amrabat of 21.4 millions of pounds. It's understood the Red Devils have ruled out activating that. Fiorentina have given United until July 21 to make any new loan agreement. Additionally, France's top young defensive talent could pick between United and Real Madrid. That's the claim tonight as Lila brace themselves for more firm interest in 18-year-old Lenny Yoro. United reportedly already have a deal of around 42.26 millions of pounds agreed in principle with Yoro's French club, but it was thought he had a preference for real. However, the Spanish giants have yet to match the Red Devils' financial advances, and as it stands, Yoro is said to be coming to terms with the situation, meaning he could move to United imminently or wait and hope on the other side. Marseille have reached a 27 millions of pounds deal to sign Mason Greenwood from Manchester United. Greenwood was suspended by United back in January 2022 before being charged nine months later of attempted rape, assault, and controlling and coercive behavior towards a woman. The controversial forward denied the claims, with all criminal charges eventually dropped in February 2023. However, Low-M fans have started a campaign called Greenwood Not Welcome, imploring club chiefs to abandon their pursuit or risk doing irreversible damage. Marseille Mayor Benoit Payan was also outraged by the news, telling RMC, I do not want my club to be covered in shame, it is not acceptable. Meanwhile, Manchester United are close to sealing a deal to sign Bologna star Joshua Xerxes. United have agreed terms with Xerxes, but are yet to decide on how to structure a deal with the Serie A giants. Transfer insider Fabrizio Romano reported that the terms have been sorted out between the striker and the Red Devils. Romano also claimed that the Manchester Giants need to decide on paying the Netherlands internationals 34 millions of pounds release clause. It is suggested that United could negotiate new terms with the Italian side over the structure of the deal. However, Manchester United legend Roy Keane criticized the arrogance of England fans for expecting to win every major tournament for 30 years. He said that, You talk about England not having won anything for 30, 40 years. That's not on this group of players. Focus on winning the game of football, and history will take care of itself. When you talk about the weight of the jersey, I think there's a bit of arrogance that comes with that. The consequences of a mistake, that is part of top-level sport, you have to deal with that. And over the years, maybe they haven't done that well enough. Elsewhere, Arsenal and Manchester United are on high alert with Crystal Palace star Mark Guehi set to reject a new contract from his club. Palace want Guehi to sign a new deal, which would include a release clause when he returns from Euro 2024, but Sunsport has now learned he has no intention of doing so. The defender, whose contract runs out in 2026, is understood to be keen to explore his options this summer, amidst interest from United and the Gunners. The Red Devils are particularly impressed with the ease with which the 23-year-old has adapted to playing as England's left-sided centre-back in Germany, despite being right-footed. 